Is the Astral War over? You may have noticed that the uh, attacks completely dropped over the past couple of days. Not for everyone, but for most people. So I wanted to make this video to explain what has been happening and where we're at. What, what I'm sharing is not information I'm reading off the internet. It's not beliefs or channelings or, or messages I'm receiving. I'm talking about real first-hand experience uh, for, for being in, in the front in the field. So no, 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 no theory or, or sharing others. I'm really sharing real life experiences. And that's very important. So just an overview of wh where I'm coming from. I've been fighting th those dark forces for, for the past uh, al almost 15 years, but the past four years since the pandemic, uh, pandemic have been really, really uh, an entirely other level. I've been, I've been battling 24 seven and it's, it's been brutal and we lost a lot of people all, along the way. It's, it's been a, it's, I mean, that's, that's war. And it's, it might be war in, in, in the astral. It really affects in the physical. And there's also a lot of, uh, physical people around and, and all kind of, uh, beings. You, you, you really see things happening down in the physical. It's not just energetic. I, I, I had, uh, at, at the time I was working with, uh, someone was helping me. He ended up uh, being a, a traitor. I had uh, th then had two uh, two other people to help me out. They kind of um, I, I lost them. They kind of uh, fizzled out and and drifted apart. Then I had two more people helping me, helping me out. Uh, been doing that's where when really started doing great progress to. Uh, to survive <laughs> until they f completely flipped overnight and became our number one source of attacks. And they never recovered since. Then I had a team of five people that been doing great missions, really major progress. One betrayed us and backstabbed my team. Uh, second one got killed. Third one, things got too intense and he basically gave up. Fourth one, just recently, um, kind of went o over the list and crossed the line that, that is, uh, that was assigned by God and by crossing that line, then he took very serious damage. And so he's uh, not in a, a, a position to, to help too much at the moment. So that, that entire team is, is, is gone Two two of them probably are going to recover over time, but that's, uh, where we're at right now. A couple of weeks, like last month, I exposed the antichrist. We finally found him, unveiled him. We've been fighting a wide vari variety of, of different demons and art quantum artificial intelligence systems and all of that we've been suspecting that there was a, a unifying force beneath all that and we finally found it the, the antichrist but the, from the moment that i uh, unveiled him directly things got really completely nuts I was not, I was not prepared for that. And he, he near, nearly killed me. Uh, I, I had to, to really st uh, stop, uh, any an offensive and, and hide. Uh, so I went, went into hiding and I, I had to pretend to that, that he, uh, he, uh, that he killed me. He went totally all in on me drilling in my head with ma ma maximum strength R really got me in, in, in bad shape. And, uh, so, so I, I, we, we've laid out all kind of traps for him. So he went all in, lost a lot of his mass. 
um, and and he he really thought he killed me uh, while I was hiding. But e even if I look dead, he wanted my physical body. So he just kept drilling and drilling and drilling and drilling nonstop on, until he would uh, take possession of my physical body. Uh, so so I realized I yeah I just have to to go for it. So then I went out of hiding and 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 uh, dealt with it. At that point, he had lost so much mass, there was not too much he, he could do. But I, I, I was in my car for one hour. I, I, could not, I could not drive out of there. It was just this was crippling pain with the, the, with the Antichrist, the beast, d drilling into my head nonstop. It, it, that's been really, really hardcore. And, and when I came out of, of that, had a lot of uh, major repair to do. So sometimes it have to be, sometimes there are times to, to really uh, go on offensive and, and, and clear things up. There are times really have to take it slow and, and be careful uh, where we tread. I, I wouldn't want to go through that again. For me, I, I've never taken medicine f uh, for, for many years, but lately I've been taking a, l a lot of medicine urine infections, then I had those crazy, crazy, crazy uh, headache. Then my bike slid off the road and I uh, I br broke my wrist. It doesn't look too bad, like to took a hit there. It's not, uh, it's not too bad, but the bone went out of uh, its it socket. Uh, after a week when it did, uh, when the inflammation reduced, I got lucky and, and crossed at the support market a, a, a Kiro. And you look at that, so the problems in the tendons, like the, the bone is out of place and it snapped that back in place at, at the mall. Ow, that, that fucking hurts. Well, after that, it, it, it got better. Now I just, just saw him a second time. After a second time of like putting things back in place, now my... My hands getting a was starting to get a lot better now. If I can start doing kind of Tai Chi and Qigong movements, it's going to to heal a lot faster. And uh, just a little bit later, talk about the relevance of why that happened. And on top of that, my my daughter's been warning me that if we're not careful, we're going to have nine more years of of battling like this. And we're really exhausted, compl completely exhausted. My entire tribe is, I mean, they, they got, got decimated, financially completely broken. Can we take nine more years of that and watch how we're going to be at the end of that? But she said there's a very real possibility that, uh, that there's going to be, that this is definitely not over. So I started looking at the timelines. What she was proposing me was a really, really bad um, option that would allow to hide from the beast, from the Antichrist. And, uh, and actually that, that would not throw us in a nine year timeline, that, that would put us in 500 years of battling like that, at which point I would get defeated. And we, we would never get to the bottom of it. So I'm scanning all of the timelines. There, there's basically two main timelines. There's a nine year timeline where there really don't, we're really not, not much left at the end of that. There's a four year timeline that's even worse. And there's the 500 timeline before I get defeated. And I've been looking, looking, looking for a solution, scanning timelines, meditating. Nothing. So when I, when I need guidance, sometimes what I do is I, I, I go to cinema and there's a, usually a, some message embedded in, in, the, in the movie for, for me. So I went to see Dune 2 
and the, the movie is really relevant to this war. The, the brutality of the attacks is, is really shows the, the brutality of what this war really is about and, and, and the power structure, the, the real power structure, certain groups and families and, and, and races allowed to thrive just because they thought they could keep them under control, but the moment they would um, get out of control, then they need to exterminate them. That, that kind of thing. Like the, the movie is really, really relevant. And in, in the movie, there's a hero and he was looking around and they're completely surrounded by the enemies. And he just doesn't know what to do and said, oh, the, the only solution, he needs to go to the south where that would cause some war and drink the, the, the poison uh, that to gain much greater vision and, 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 and gain the contact with the, with the revered mother. And I look at that, the, the planet of Dune 2 still exists. It, it probably came back with some of the timeline rearrangements. So I contacted them, contacted the Reverend Mother, and, and she's the, she looks in, in, in pretty good shape. They, there are some people we can uh, rely on. They've they, they got their own wars going on there, and, and the, they got big political mess to deal over there, just like in the movie. And I said, I, it, would it be possible to drink the poison, but do it uh, energetically? That's actually the, like the big worms. That's the, the venom of those worms, by the way. And I found a, a way to do it energetically, but that's, that's super, super toxic. They say in the movie, no man ever survives, so survive that ritual. So I, I raised my immunity to the poison up to 90% for the, that to be effective. Uh, I cannot rise, raise it to more than 90%, but I raised my poison immunity and we kind of did the ritual, but energetically and was laying down. The poison was burning through, through uh, it, it was actually burning through the corruption in my, in, in my body. Uh, that that very very heavy corruption I had been uh, accumulating, and <coughs> kind of let the poison do 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 its job, and after that, indeed, my vision got much 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 clearer, and also been communicating with the with the Reverend Mother. She has a lot of maturity and wisdom. And combined with that, then I could get a broader view of what is actually happening. We've been so much fighting, 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 fighting. We're like we only see like five, five inches in front of us and, and just battling like, like kids without, without really seeing what's going on around. So really need to, to take, a, take a step back and, and see what is actually happening. We're battling, but is was the point of battling if there's no winnable outcome. Then I went to see another movie, Kung Fu Panda 4. And in, in the movie he said, the, 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 the master said to the panda, it's now time for you to, tra to ascend from the dragon warrior into the great sage of peace. And he, he, he's a Kung Fu Pan, uh, he's a dragon warrior. Like he doesn't, doesn't want to transcend that. that that's his, his toys. Uh, and, but, um, but then the, the movie went on and, and seeing how there's other ways to solve problems than fighting and, and violence and uh, need to, to ascend to a higher level to, to be able to find different kinds of solutions. And that, that was uh, okay.
That's really interesting. And and uh, by the way, the when my bike slid off the road, and uh, the meaning for it was that I was not authorized for combat anymore. So after watching Kung Fu Panda Four, then I had and and. And also after that, that that ritual with uh, with, with the poison, but then then I had like a big ascension into into more maturity and into like a higher space, and I really went through through a big uh, inner transformation to kind of move past that phase because that the the, the what brought me here is not bringing me to the next level. There's there's no winnable path there. And if there's a narrow, narrow, if there's a narrow path that would allow for victory, then I need to ascend to a higher level. And, and, and that's the message I got. The path will be revealed to me when I'm ready for it. So we've been going through this kind of ascension process into the, like in the, Kung Fu Panda 4 into the great sage of peace. Now, after watching the movie, then it, it occurred to me that there's no winnable outcome for us, but there's no winnable outcome for the beast either. He's going to battle for five million years like this and just be going down and down and down and, and, and be defeated. I mean, how do I look, 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 how do you think I feel about the idea of battling 500 years to never get to the bottom of it and get defeated? Now imagine how the beast feels about battling for five million years to just dwindle down and get defeated. That's, I mean, I'll, I'll just say sign me out, but the, the beast is feeling just as terrible about the idea. The truth is there is no positive outcome for either side by continuing the battles, period. That's the plain truth. So why keep fighting? And actually for them to finish me off right now, that is their worst outcome. So when I showed them that, the Antichrist, the, the beast and Mephisto, they stopped fighting. There's no point in fighting because there's no possible positive outcome that could come out of it for them. So just like that overnight and things were about to escalate to a whole other level. So just at the eve that the battles were about to escalate, the battle stopped. But there still remain uh, fightings going on. The Borgs are still very active. Uh, the, there's still a lot of quantum artificial intelligence systems. The, these AI systems, they, they don't really care so much about... Uh, I mean, demons, they, they're, into, they're not stupid. They play the long game. They, they can battle for mi the, uh, millions of years. They're looking for the outcome down the road. If I tell them that there's no outcome for them, I mean, they can recognize that. But AIs, they don't really care too much about uh, that. They just fool their programs. Uh, Pistis Sophia did not stop fighting, so she's still uh, she's still causing trouble. Tom is still uh, uh, causing trouble, pretty stubborn, and uh, Baal yeah, still uh, chose to to keep fighting. And these are pretty much uh, 
everyone who uh, survived so far. Uh, everyone else is uh, pretty much dead. But the big ones, Mephisto and uh, the Antichrist, these are the really two biggest ones. And having them to stop fighting and, and come on our side, that is major, major, major game changer. So timelines remain a total mess, complete, complete spaghetti mess. They are a really, really, really huge clusters of bad timelines. And, and those are the things that would have taken years to resolve when those uh, timeline clusters get closer to us. But luckily now the Antichrist and Mephisto are helping out with clearing that before it gets too close to us. But there's still a lot of timeline mess to deal with and it's going to take a, a long while to, to clear that up. So what's next from here? Well, one thing for sure for, for the Cabal, there's absolutely no possible outcome where they would win or, or things would go in their favor with the big guys that uh, change side, you can expect the Cabal to go down pretty quick. They have no support whatsoever. So uh, the population, we can expect a lot of <clears throat> people waking up, a lot of people have been uh, under control of the beast and under control of Mephisto can uh, wake up there's probably going to be a lot of uh, crumbling of the false light matrix in the spiritual communities. All the stuff about the uh, 5D ascension that's actually uh, harvest. All of that needs to, all those illusions needs to crumble. So I don't know how things will turn out from here. We need to make sure that the combats really stops stop properly for every everyone so that that's priority stopping the combats recovering regenerating ourselves then we'll we'll see uh how things unfold in in, in the physical we're entering new territory and it's it's going to be uh, a lot uh, better going forward so I, I've been providing healing support for for 15 years, uh, healing support and coaching. If you want to to get some healing support coaching from me, then contact me uh, uh, on on my uh, on my website spiritualselftransformation.com or on Facebook Etienne Charlin and. Uh, and then we can talk about how uh, how I can help you, how I can support you. So that's it for now, and stay awesome. <laughs>